Bailey. I'm a core developer at Open Zeppelin. Um, you may know Open Zeppelin because of the security audits we perform. We audited the Solidity compiler. We audited uh, several projects for Coinbase. We audited and broke Serpent back in the days. Um, and most recently, we audited Compound and Instel. You also may know us because of the Open Zeppelin contracts, aka Open Zeppelin Solidity repo, which you may know about. Uh, one of the most used libraries in the ecosystem with more than 22k downloads. Um, but today I'm not going to talk you about security, I'm not going to talk you about the contracts repo, I'm going to talk you about two tools we have been developing with our team, uh, which are the Open Zeppelin SDK and the Open Zeppelin Starter Kits. So, first of all, the why? Well, um, we really think that uh, development tools right now in the ecosystem are still green compared to other, uh, you know, ecosystems, to other uh, industries, and we love to build things for you guys. Um, that's why we basically built these two tools. And we're gonna start with the Open Zeppelin SDK. Um, the Open Zeppelin SDK is basically a software development kit or the developer tool which has a CLI that will let you develop your smart contracts, compile them using any Solidity version you want, deploy them with this, upgrade them, uh, interact with them again using the CLI and start DAPs in only five minutes. But how, right? Well, this is an npm package, so just running npm install at openzeppelin slash CLI will do the trick. Um, well, so how you can start your project? Super easy, after installing it, just running openzeppelin in it will start up everything you need to start coding your contracts. You then probably will want to code your contract, which for example, could be a my contract with a function that is called to something that receives a something parameter. Um, and just for deploy, you just have to run Open Zeppelin Create, specifying the contract name and which network you want to deploy it to. Which is not really necessary because all these commands are interactive and if you don't specify the parameters nor the flags, you won't have any problem. And yeah, it will deploy only with that uh, command the contract in that address. And now that we have our contract de uh, deployed, we probably want to talk with it, which is, again, super easy. Uh, the Open Zeppelin CLI has two super handy commands, which are call and send transaction. Call basically for calling pure on new functions, and send transaction for calling any other uh, public function that will actually make a transaction to the blockchain. Uh, and they are super, super easy to use. And as we all know, uh, development software, yeah, software development, I mean, the cycle of uh, software development has its problems. We are humans, developers, but humans, and we commit mistakes. And we know that by just seeing the history of smart contract development and all the money that was lost in a lot of security breaches. So maybe we want to update, upgrade our broken contract, which is, again, super easy with this tool. You just have to, you know, modify your broken function, add new awesome code, and just run Open Zeppelin upgrade, specifying your contract, and that's all. Uh, the CLI will upgrade your contract, and as you can see, it is deployed in exactly the same address as it was created the first time. I'm not going to go very deep in this topic, but if you want to read more on how we are implementing this, please go to Zeppelin slash upgrades. Um, but anything else? Does this CLI have anything else? Yeah. Apart from the commands in the left, we have other super handy commands compiled for compiling your contracts with any version of Solidity you want to verify, for verifying them to Etherscan or Ether, Ether, Ether chain. Uh, open Zeppelin accounts for listing all your accounts in a specific network, transfer or transferring Ether or ERC20 tokens to any account, balance to query uh, the balance on any ERC20 tokens or ETH of any account. And I bolded this last command, the unpack command, because this is the link we have with Open Zeppelin starter kits, which are basically uh, DApps folders for you to start your DApps, your decentralized applications, just running a couple of commands. So, uh, the components of the starter kits are the Open Zeppelin contracts, which you all probably know, Open Zeppelin SDK that we have been talking about, Infura for connecting to any network, 
um, a one-liner, killer one-liner Web3 adapter that you can use uh, to avoid uh, the cumbersome process of um, you know, uh, developing the first part of Web3. Um, React and Rimmel for managing your front-end uh, uh, components. And the Open Zeppelin Code Loader, which is a super cool tool we developed that will let you modify your contracts on the go and after saving them, uh, you will be able to see in your website those changes. I mean, if you are, for example, reading the ABI and you save your contract with a different ABI, you will be able to see that same information, the new information, within your website. Usage is, again, super easy with the CLI. Running Open Zeppelin Unpack Starter or Open Zeppelin Unpack Tutorial will do the trick. Being starter, uh, the starter kit with, with, which will let you uh, start uh, a project from scratch and tutorial. Uh, a simple demo on how to use the CLI with two super useful examples that are counter and EVM packages. You can read more, go into Zeppelin slash target, Zeppelin slash SDK, and that's all. Thank you very much.